Hey crew, have you been wondering what's been happening here at Surfing Scratcher Studios over the past couple of months since that infamous event? Well stick around because I've got an update to give you a load of thank yous and shout outs to share with you and I also want to give you a bit of a roadmap of what's ahead and what's in store over the next couple of months. So stick around and we'll get stuck into it. Hello world, if you're not too familiar with me, I'm the Surfing Scratcher, I'm a teacher surfer programmer, and I'm gonna say slight entrepreneur these days, maybe you entrepreneur. And I help curious learners just like you along on your learning journeys. So this isn't a how-to coding video, this is an update video, and I just wanna share with you what's been happening over the past few weeks. Uh, yeah, since some interesting things happened in this, uh, this environment. Uh, funnily enough, uh, there was round two that happened, so it actually came back. But anyway, we're not going to get into that. It doesn't matter. We are focused on you guys and bringing value to you. So first things first, um, I just want to make a huge shout out to, to the community out there. I'm going to go through a whole line of thank yous and um, mentions in, in a moment, but I just want to say right from when I posted that video, just the comments that were flooding my way um, with well wishes and yeah, people sharing with me, both students, users and, and educators, how this content has impacted them and their, their groups of learners. It just, um, it, it really motivates me to, to keep making these videos and keep putting out this content and continuing to serve uh, you guys because that's ultimately what I'm here for. I want to bring you some value. I want to share with you my learning experiences and, and document that and hopefully yeah, you guys can apply that to your own learning journeys as well. Without your support, I wouldn't be making this video right now and I wouldn't be making future videos. So, you know, I'm just, I, I can't really express the, um, the gratitude deep enough that, that, that I've kind of experienced uh, over the past few weeks um, through your well wishes. And specifically, I just want to go through and, and thank each of the, the GoFundMe page donations because um, every contribution has helped immensely to, yeah, restock this uh, this camera that I, I'm coming to you with now and also picking up um, a new laptop which are the absolute essentials uh, which are needed to, to keep bringing content to, to you guys. So I just want to give a big shout out to, we're just going to rapid fire, but thanks Karen, James, Frank, Karen, Bronwyn, Louise, Sandra, Lisa, Yana, Alistair, Nabil, Tony, Tim, and Kara, as well as a few anonymous donations that I'm not gonna mention, but you know who you are if you are watching this video. So um, together, you guys have raised over $1,000, which has been absolutely epic, and I was not really expecting anything to that tune. So um, thank you so much uh, for those donations. Um, and I hope you were able to, to find downloads to the resources because uh, I made those available on the GoFundMe page. And if you haven't and you're just finding out about that now, go suss out that GoFundMe page and check out a download link to every single teacher resource I've ever made. Uh, it's just there for you to go and download. I also want to give a quick shout out to the three patrons of this channel. Yeah, there are three and I love you guys for your continued support of just kind of automating, uh, yeah, your support month to month. So I just want to thank uh, Vivian, Maya, and Oliver. I hope I pronounced your names right, but yeah, I just want to give a shout out to you guys as well uh, for your continued support of this channel. It, um, it, means, it means a lot and every single contribution helps to continue to bring this content to you. Now, I just want to make a few shout outs to people who've supported me along the way. I'm certainly not getting paid for any of this. I just want to mention these people because they've thrown uh, well wishes my way and I just want to like make a shout out to them. So the first is Packronics. They're my go-to for when I want to find some educational uh, technology, equipment, hardware, that sort of thing here in Melbourne. So I yeah, love working with, uh, with Parthic over there. So thank you for your continued support, Parthic, uh, and our working relationship as well, even though you have not asked me to say any of this, but yeah, thank you. Also, in the well wishes, I received uh, a message from uh, a foundation over in the Netherlands of all places. And funnily enough, I've lived in the Netherlands for a little over a year, which is cool. And the message of well wishes uh, that, that came from that direction uh, was really cool because I ended up checking out their website, which is, uh, there's a Dutch version, it's called um, skillsdojo.nl or .nl. I know punt is the, the word for dot in uh, Netherlands. But, uh, so that's the, that's the Dutch version, but I was over checking out Kids Course. And if you're an educator out there, go check out this website because they've got some uh, resources, some different resources, some really cute, um, 
kind of unplugged style resources as well as some uh, plugged resources that you can go and check out. So yeah, you'll be seeing a, a few of those on your screen right now. And yeah, I love these ones for the little kids, programming paper robots. Uh, definitely go and check out some of that. So thank you for your well wishes uh, over there at Skills Dojo. And likewise, a big shout out to you guys, the fans, because you've been making some gnarly comments, uh, which I've really appreciated. And it's, it's really spurred the motivation to continue making content for you guys. So, you know, just massive like heart symbol from me to you. And hey, I wanna make a shout out to Brody Man one because I promised I would make a shout out. Okay, let's change gears. And I wanna share with you what's in store for Surfing Scratcher going forward. So the first thing that I wanna share with you is that I've just been accepted into a startup incubator program called the Startup Gibson Tech Skills Incubator for 2021. And what that's gonna be, it's a three to four month uh, intense Intensive where we'll be spending about five to six weekends uh, doing workshops over building a business essentially. And what that means is figuring out what people want, what customers want, and trying to bring value to them, which I think is a really important uh, pathway for people who kind of want to find meaning in their life and are looking for purpose. Because if you can find out what matters to you and you can overlap that with what other people are sort of looking for, their pain points and you're creating solutions for that and you're just creating win-win situations. So yeah, I'm really interested in the entrepreneurial pathway and its application to education. So what I'm thinking of doing over the next couple of months, uh, it's gonna be quite a big program. I sort of wanna document that journey with you guys. And what I wanna talk with you is some of the content, key insights, and some of the books that I've been coming across as well, because I just sort of wanna do the learning for you, give you guys the shortcuts, if they're there, or even spark your learning journey, because I would love to down the track, uh, take a group of learners through this sort of entrepreneurial program as a way to give back, or as a way to just, yeah, help you guys along on your journeys too. The cool thing about this, you might be listening to this and going, oh, I don't know about this, but you know, if you're a young person making games out there, this is all gonna be relevant to you because ultimately, if you're interested in making games, yeah, it's great to make games for yourself. It's kind of fun. It's great to explore and experiment with different things, but ultimately, if you wanna become a game developer over in Scratch uh, and beyond, then you're gonna have to make games for other people. And when you make games for other people, you've got to tune into what interests them and what they like. It doesn't always align like that, but I'd encourage you to chat to the people who are going to be playing the games that you've made, or maybe just people who like playing games. And then you can gain some insight into what kind of games you can make for them. Because yeah, the more people are playing it, the better you're going to feel as well. Now I've had Cool Scratcher mention a couple of times about collaborations and I've got an idea that I'm going to work on in the background throughout this program. And that is to take one of the card games that I enjoy playing and it's called Coup and Coup is by Ricky Tata. And I just had this idea that, you know, games with all their instructions, they're already, there's a game that's ready to go. It's already sort of been proven and it's got a sequence of rules or instructions. So in my mind, I was like, oh, that's something that we can definitely program in Scratch. So I'm gonna have a crack at uh, making a prototype of this game in Scratch and uh, sharing it with you. It's gonna be a multiplayer game. So I think it's sort of two to six players. I'm gonna make this maximum four just to put a constraint on it. And I'll start with two, but I'm gonna take you through a, that process of sort of looking at this game and unpacking it uh, the, to understand the design process. And that's a, that's a key programmatic skill of like starting with something and working backwards from its solutions. So uh, I want to document that for you guys because I think that'll be really useful. And a shout out to Ricky Tata, who is the game creator I reached out to and gave his blessing for us to do that. So that is ace. If you're not familiar with Coup, it's, uh, it's a pretty neat game. It's really quick, goes about 15 minutes and it's an ultimate bluffing game. So if you think you've got good lying game with your mates, then uh, it's not a bad one to put on. Like I'm a terrible liar. So people find me out immediately. So I'm very systematic when I play this game uh, and that's my kind of strategy. But anyway, uh, stay tuned with that. Videos for it, I probably, they won't be dropping for a little while because I've still got to make that prototype. Uh, but we'll see how we go with it. And there you have it. I'm gonna get this video out to you ASAP and I'm gonna try and do sort of a weekly check-in with some of this startup Gippsland stuff that I'll be doing over the next few months. And hopefully I'll be able to 
wrap in or thread in some of that scratch content uh, with you as well. So I'm gonna leave it there. I just wanna, again, lastly express all my appreciation and gratitude for you guys out there. And I've also got some ideas around some challenges that I wanna throw out to the crew out there, specifically you young scratchers. Uh, so stay tuned on that in future videos. Until next time, I'm off to go find a wave. I'll catch you in the next one.